I just have a couple more here. Um, this is my record. <laughs> what and how do they do that with camera? <laughs> I don't know. David Letterman's good at it. This is my most recent record. It has um, a string quartet on it. This guy, Brendan Cooney, wrote the parts. He's from West Philly. It's really great what he did. <clears throat> And this is one of the songs on it. My roommate, Machiko, she doesn't eat. I never seen her eat anything. Shoes. She's in the shoes. High heel shoes. Give me all the shit. They say, what's up with your hooker roommate? Dude. I don't know. She's got issues again. My roommate, Machiko, I did some recon. She drives a Beamer. She rents out a condo. She's got a fiance. She's got a fiance. He's 70 years old, 70 years old. He's a goddamn sugar daddy. I don't know, maybe pimps are out. Roommate Machiko, she doesn't say much. I think I want her out of here. But when I met her, when I met her, I thought she was really hot. I thought she was really hot. But I, I was. Desperate back then, god damn it. Now I think she's fucking <laughs> My roommate Machiko, she doesn't eat. I never seen her eat anything. Kitchen immaculate. Uh, my next show is in Provincetown on Saturday. It's called the Provincetown Provincetown Rocks. The festival. I think there's 500 bands playing over the weekend. I'm at Bubula's at nine. <laughs> it's a pretty cool idea. All right, I'm gonna give this one a shot. I'm not ready to play it, but the hell with it. <laughs> If I wasn't such a bum, I'd have better friends than you, and a better job than this one, and a car that's brand new. If I wasn't such a bum, I'd have a hit song on the radio, and a pretty bank account, and a dirty dog to show off. And a kid to pick his shit up If I wasn't such a bomb I'd have a condo in the city And a swimming pool physique A part in a Tarantino movie And my cover <laughs> And my picture on the cover of Newsweek If I wasn't such a bomb I'd 
have an article in the New Yorker. Should I stop? New Yorker. Go out to dinner every night. I'd have hot guys on my hot arms. I'd have the best drugs. Be out of sight if I wasn't so cheap. I get a facelift when I need it. Helicopter on the lawn. I'd have offshore clientele. And the keys to the, the animal farm if I was a jet bomb. Oh, yeah, man, it'd be cool. I'd be really cool. Maybe a little bit more fabulous if I had a real job, but you know, I like my life. I, as long as I got a couple of quarters or nickel to rub together hot dogs, some kind of thing like that. Because I love my freedom. I can sleep out under the woods and get money from the rich lady. She come out of the bank. You know Richard Button? Richard Button, the actor, he said he'd been rich. And he'd been poor. And rich is better. Well, I say, oops. Rich your button. You dead. And Liz, she fat. Oh, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elizabeth Taylor. She's a fine lady. She friend Michael Jackson, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes I think maybe. I think maybe. I wasn't such a, I could be more fabulous if I, if I wasn't such a, I wasn't such a, what is it? That's right, one of those guys. <laughs>